Well, angle that down a bit. Here we go. G'day. Uh, my name's Harry. I'm gonna show you guys how to wax your surfboard. Exciting. Okay, so first of all, you want to get your board. You can have any shape, flavor, size, color, doesn't matter. They all need to be sticky on the top. So first of all, what you need to know is what side to wax, of course, because if you're going to wax the bottom, you won't go anywhere. You'll be bloody, yeah, it'll just slow you down. No good, it's not what you want. So you want to wax the top side with this stuff. And, yeah, so you get a nice sticky feel under your feet. So you can land all those cool maneuvers and stuff. So yeah, so first of all, top side. The, you'll know the top side because you have it's the rocker is concaved, I guess, like this. And also because obviously the fins are on the bottom. So you have fin holes on the bottom. So first of all, what you want to do is you get the on the deck of your surfboard, you need your wax. For a base coat, what you want is the hardest wax you can get, so tropical or um, warm wax is good too. Anything that's really hard, you want a hard base coat, so you so your wax doesn't smudge. So you need your hard wax, and then you just as it. I'll angle it. What you do is first of all you want to just lightly rub the wax across the board. So you go really light, not too, applying a bit of pressure but not too much. So you just get that nice sort of, you get a nice little layer of wax along the board. So you're just rubbing up and down, backwards and forwards, crossing over each other, like this. And slowly as you get more and more, you'll start to see, you start to get these bumps, see these? These little bumps and that is called beads and that is what you want because those little bumps is what gives you the traction and the, the hold. So as you do that, once you get some little bumps, what you want to do is start doing circles. You circle all around and you'll circle and as you start to do more circles you'll slowly see the bumps getting a little building up on top of each other. That's nice. So as you can see now we're starting to get some little bumps there on the deck. That'll give us a real nice hold when we're surfing. So now you've got to figure out how much you want to wax. How much of the board you want to wax. Me, preferably, I got quite a wide stance, so I wax all the way from just before the grip pad until all the way up to right where the logo is because it's about where I put my front foot. So I wax up here. And then I also go all the way up to this top half of the board because sometimes when you're doing manoeuvres your foot will land further forward and you don't want to slip off and do the splits because you could injure yourself or you could break your board or just, you know, you don't want to fall off in general. So that's, that's what I like to do. So the top sort of portion of your board, all waxed all the way around to the rails. But not too far around because it'll perfect, um, affect your performance in the water. So you want to get around to the rails, all the way down. If you want, you can you can draw an outline around the board of where you want to wax, and then just fill it in, doing your circles, getting those beads up. So you so you got a good hold on your wax. So then once you get some beads, what you want to do is change your wax over and get you, your softer wax, which is the more cool wax sort of thing. So in summer you might want it, because it gets really, you know, it gets real hot and stuff, you might want to keep it with your warm wax, but I like to always have a cool top because you get that nice sticky feel. If you want a bit of stick, not too much, you don't want it to be super sticky, but just that nice little bit of stick. And you just wax that over top of your beads. So you get a nice extra little layer on top of those beads that's real sticky and that will give you some good hold. So that's about it. Thank you.